Mm-hmm. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is cut out our spelling word list and get it into our notebook. Um, so, right there. So, cut around and affix it into your notebook with tape or glue. All right, grab your highlighters or colored pencils. And as I go through the words, uh, I'm going to say them if you are unsure of the definition. You need to highlight it. All right, distortion, coveted, deterrent, snobbish, obligate, investigate, pathogenic. I do. Pathological. Exude, organize, terse, holy, what? holy, you know, like the beginning is W H O L, like a oh, like the sure. whole. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not like that. It's, I like holy circles. No, holy. Huh? Holy. Like the whole picture. Oh, it's holy. Thing. Holy. Quizzical. Quizzical. Engage. Institution. Perspective. Distract. Dismiss. Gratify, irrigation, elucidate, bigot, distort, cynical, incense, outlandish, Sanction, battery, solidify, connotation. All right, so the first category that I want you to look for is... Words that have the prefix ish. All right, so outlandish and snobbish should be the two that you found. If something is snobbish, what does that mean? Like a snob. So ish means like or similar to. Okay. So, sure. So snobbish means like a snob. It is what part of speech? What part of speech? So noun, adjective, verb, adjective. It describes somebody. A snob would be a noun. Snobbish would be like a snob, right? All right, let's do 
Words that have the root tort in them, such as distortion. All right, so you should have found distortion and distorts. Did you find those two words? Now, T-O-R-T, -T, that word means twist. So if you distort something, you take it and you twist it until it doesn't look like that anymore. Okay? If you are using... Um, if you are using Google Slides or Google Draw and you insert an image... And you change the sides by pulling the side, the size by pulling the side or the tops instead of using the corner, you're going to distort the image. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Your job is to put the rest of your words into categories. I will give you these five minutes right now to work on it, and then I will give you some more time tomorrow, so you don't need to worry about having it all done. You will have some time tomorrow.